So that's the colours I've been using for this sky here, um, cerulean blue, ultramarine blue, burnt umber and white. Um, the sky actually doesn't take up too much of the image so I'm trying not to get too fussy over it. There's nothing quite like pushing paint around though is there? One of the annoying things is there's actually a mountain. Uh, going into the foreground of this painting so <laughs> it's probably going to sit right in front of all this work that I've just put into these clouds I don't even think I can let that happen now yeah I'm far too happy with this sky now um, which doesn't usually happen, it happens so quickly uh, I've only been working on it for five minutes and it's usually at least a few hours before I get a sky that I'm happy with, but I'm really happy with that, so I don't even want to hide it behind the mountain now. I'm going to have to move the mountain slightly further down the canvas so that I can show this off. Anyway, I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to go down and get some breakfast before I draw that image up. I've just mixed some burnt umber and ultramarine blue together to get that really dark or well, the darkest dark that I can make without using black and what I'm going to do now is just take care of all of the shadows on this painting before I do anything else we'll work dark to light I think that's the rules, I don't always play by them mind you I got too caught up in mixing my favourite colours and working from uh, most favourite to least favourite but it's, it's certainly meant to be darkest to light I think Right, I'm almost finished with the darkest darks of the painting. That certainly took um, a bit of time. So I'm just going to finish that up and then we'll start on with the next colour. Although I am considering just throwing a wash over those mountains when they're dry. But we'll see, we could maybe go into some some nice lime greens. And Well, I say lime greens, we're working dark to light, aren't we? Uh, so it will be the darkest greens first and then the lime greens, that's me wanting it to jump to my favourite colour, I told you that would happen. You're going to learn that when I say we're definitely doing this next stage, uh, whatever it is, that we'll not be doing that. 
I just kind of move on to the bit that I feel. So the bit that I really wanted to leave to last was this little cottage uh, body even. Um, but there's something about having that complete and then watching the rest of the painting. Did I even have the camera on that? I don't think I did. But aye, uh, there's something about working on the wee body and completing that and having the rest of the landscape develop round about it. So I'm going to work on that. Uh, I've just got a mixture of uh, ultramarine blue, burnt umber and titanium white again. I haven't introduced another colour yet. It's it's just these three colours. In fact, most, most of the painting is done with those three colours. So I'm going to move on to the, the, the front of that body uh, and I'm going to do that with some ultramarine blue and white. So I'm mixing up a little burnt umber and ultramarine blue wash um, and I'm going to put that over these mountains. That's going to give me a nice ground to start building up lighter layers on that rock. Right, I'm still not finished with the burnt umber ultramarine blue mix, the darkest darks, because this section that I've left blank here is actually just full of uh, rocks and pebbles that, that run next to this river here. Um, so it's best just to take care of the shadows of the rocks first. Um, we can usually get rocks done in about three colours. I also might use a wash when they are dry to go over them so that it's a little bit easier to build up the layers again. So it's hard to build up the layers when you've got white canvas still pouring through. Just throwing a quick wash on those stones. So again, it's just watered down burnt umber and ultramarine blue. The silence is actually me deciding whether I like that lime green or not, or whether it's just it's just too much. I was really looking forward to that vibrant colour as well, and now that I'm using it, I'm not sure. I might need to dull that down a little bit. Let's see what it looks like on the hills, where it's going to go. think on that. Well, add a think on that and I really wasn't happy with it so I've added some more burnt umber. That. So I'll go with this and see how that works out. It was all going so smoothly so it's usually a colour that comes along and trips me up. It's usually a blue. Usually a blue that ruins my day. I've added far more burnt umber to that green now. <laughs> so much so that I don't even think it's green anymore. I think it's just brown. Um, but it definitely looks better. That definitely looks like the colour I'm aiming for.
need to mix up the marks a wee bit so that I don't just keep creating the same mark over and over and it becomes a bit kind of repetitive and unnatural. That was a nice wee shape up there. Every so often, scribbles pay off. Every so often, you just make a little mark that sends electricity through your soul. I've just mixed up the same the same mix, so it's burnt umber and ultramarine blue, and I'm just picking out more shadows. Just mixing up a lighter grey now to add more depth to these little pebbles. How good is a scumble? How good is it? These marks are just barely there, but they just make so much difference. That's so pretty. I almost don't want to put the wash over it now. I knew that would happen. We'll see. I'm just bringing you back in because I'm making some marks that I've just, I'm falling in love with, so I thought I'd share them with you. A nice brown wash is what I'm looking for to just run along this river here. Right, 
right, this is the bit I'm actually dreading. Um, and I'm not even that confident I want to do it, but pfft. here we go. Whitewash. Mm. Should not have done it. Oh my god. God, I could, I could throw up a wee bit actually. Right, I'm back in a minute. Right. It went fine, I don't know what you were all worried about. It's like, I'm cool, calm and collected about it all. You don't see me panicking when I go to put a wash on a mountain that I've spent hours on. You don't see me worrying about it. I just get it done, don't even blink, man. Anyway. One of these trees. I'm going to pull them back out because the, the dark dark have been lost in that wash that you were all panicking about, so... I'm just adding some highlights to these rocks now, so um, the grey that I was using obviously again was Stuck Records, it's Burnt Umber, Ultramarine Blue and White uh, and I've just added a touch more white to that mix just to get the highlights in these rocks. mixed up a, a green um, with ultramarine blue, cadmium yellow, that's a lie sorry, it was yellow ochre, burnt umber and a little touch of white just to pull out some of the leaves in these trees here. Okay, so the very last thing that I was going to do is, is try and work with this heather in the foreground. I absolutely, it's the only bit of the painting I'm really not happy with. Um, I think the purple is too purple. I tend to exaggerate colours. So I'm introducing a lighter grey just to put on top of it. Just to calm it down slightly. I'll be honest, I'm still not entirely happy with this wee section here, but... Ugh. It's always that little bit in a painting that just... ruins your life and keeps you awake at night. Ugh. The light out here isn't that good, but that's what we're going with. That's it finished. It's actually alright, that foreground isn't too bad to be fair. Anyway, hope you enjoyed that. Um, with all the flaws and mistakes and uncertainty. But if anybody says that doesn't come with painting, you're a liar! <laughs>